Today we are going to talk about a related set of genetic disorders that can cause tumors to grow on nerves throughout the body. This group of disorders includes all forms of neurofibromatosis and schwannomatosis, also known as NF. Most children and adults living with these genetic disorders experience only mild symptoms, yet some experience more difficult manifestations, such as blindness, deafness, bone abnormalities, learning difficulties, disfigurement, pain, or cancer. Approximately 2.5 million people worldwide have these conditions. NF is not contagious. It affects both males and females, and people of every population equally. Genes determine our characteristics, such as height, eye color, and blood type. Genes also determine the way our body develops and functions. If a gene is not functioning properly, it may lead to conditions such as NF. Genes are located on chromosomes. Each of us normally inherits 23 chromosomes from our mom and 23 from our dad, for a total of 46 chromosomes. The first 22 pairs of chromosomes are numbered 1 through 22 and called autosomes. The 23rd pair influences whether we are male or female and are called sex chromosomes, X and Y. Each type of neurofibromatosis or schwannomatosis is caused by a pathogenic variant in a gene. Pathogenic variant is a newer term for what was previously called a mutation and means a change in the coding of the gene that causes it to function incorrectly. The NF genes are called tumor suppressor genes because when they function correctly, they suppress tumor formation. Approximately half of individuals with NF inherit the condition from one of their parents. The other half inherit these disorders as a result of a spontaneous change in one of the genes before birth or soon after an embryo develops. A parent with NF has a 50% chance of passing on the variant gene, leading to a child with NF. Likewise, that parent has a 50% chance of passing on the functioning gene, leading to a child not having NF. It's like flipping a coin. With each pregnancy, a parent with NF has a 50-50 chance of having a child with NF and 50-50 chance of the child not having NF. This is called autosomal dominant inheritance. Because the genes for neurofibromatosis and schwannomatosis do not involve the sex chromosomes, they are autosomal and dominant, which means that it takes only one copy of the variant gene to cause either disorder. Some conditions result from having two copies of variant genes, and those are referred to as recessive. If a child of someone with NF does not inherit the variant NF gene, they do not have NF and therefore cannot pass it on to their children. We hope this video helps you understand neurofibromatosis and schwannomatosis and other autosomal dominant genetic disorders. We hope you will share this video with others. At the Children's Tumor Foundation, we are committed to finding treatments for all forms of NF. To find out more, visit the Children's Tumor Foundation at ctf.org.